There are so many things to go wrong. Thousands of components left behind, missing, broken. <sighs> what can go wrong? Seven hundred and thirty-five tests hosted in Asia. Teams batting in the first innings have scored five hundred. So today we are going to the NEC for pharmacy show. We've got quite a few stands there, so I'm excited to see what happens and um, be part of the part of the build team. Getting my hands dirty today. One of the things I really want to do with these videos is to really get across how much effort goes into the whole process of um, designing and then building a stand. The effort that the human effort the human involvement in this is is just massive and there are some really long shifts that we do and it you know it does take its toll on people and it's an important story to share for example we're going to pharmacy show now we start at eight o'clock on the build and the build finishes tomorrow at eight o'clock so whatever happens whatever curveballs are thrown at us we've got to overcome them quickly and within that time frame the Rocketeers are super planned, organised, and yeah, we have very, very few things that go wrong. Each stand is made up of thousands of components that yeah, items could be left behind, could be missing, could be broken, could, it could be anything that can happen. There are so many opportunities for things to go wrong, so it's really important that you work with a contractor who can anticipate what, what may happen, but more importantly, be able to re react to it and overcome it with the minimal fuss. So we'll find out over the next 24, 36 hours um, exactly what does go wrong. And we'll try and share that and let's see, and hopefully nothing goes wrong, but you can bet your bottom dollar there'll be some sort of challenge coming our way. Let's see. Welcome to the NEC. Park Park full, cracking. That is, not like that for a long, long time. We're going to have a long walk, Jack. Hey, what time to be alive? Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. You're safe. We're going to be safe. We're going to be safe. I feel safe, isn't it? Okay, then. Which, which one are you walking? Uh, pharmacy show, all four. Okay. Thank you. 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 Find the same. See, Kate, it's got an average one. What people does it take to assemble a bit of aluminium? So sometimes, um, sometimes stands will have a hanging side. So you see up here, we've got like put your stand here, and, 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 and we'll, we'll put together a sign with the fine scratches on it. Suspended in the ceiling, suspended in the sky, sorry, so you can uh, see where they are from. It's a good, uh, it's a good way of doing it. Really, it's quite cost effective for the sign itself. Is very really cost effective, but the cost for rigging can be quite effective. So it depends where you are, but it's still a good, uh, a good thing to have to start if you want to be able to be seen far away.
to navigate when there's so much stuff here. You wanted to try and get a trolley down this aisle, for example. It's basically impossible. It's amazing how that is going to be turned into an exhibition stand in a few hours. So yeah, watch this space. All the electrics to be laid down before we uh, start laying our floor in, so we're at a standstill at the moment, but we'll get there, we'll get there. You see at the bottom of that pallet? I'm glad that's not one of the house. We've got the floor down with all the electrics in, the comms, waiting for the uh, guys to come and put the printed vinyl on. Whilst we're waiting for them, we're just putting the walls together, getting ready to get the graphics. Um, when we finish that, we start building the, building the unit. It's a bit fiddly, it's slightly unusual because we're using uh, unconventional flooring or unconventional for us. We normally use eco floor as, uh, as evidenced by what they have next door. Uh, but because of the weight of that machine over there, mm -hmm. we use a solid floor. I'm going back to my roots and I'm wrapping uh, a wall with a graphic. It's got a door in it which you can't see at the moment. Um, but you will do in a minute when I cut it out, set the door in so it's all nice and tight, no creases, lines, anything, nice and tight. This is the backing off media. So you can see these, these are called shelf schemes and they're only 2-4 high. And this stand is a bit higher than 2-4. So when it stands up and you look at that, say you're inside that shelf scheme, you look over, you're going to see the back of this board. It might not look too great, so it's got some white stuff down. Make it look a bit better. That wraps up our day one. It is now 25 to 6, so we're just going to have a quick tidy up, put the tools away, and we go again tomorrow. But the guys have worked absolutely rock solid today. So we've got, I think, pretty much all of the stands are really nearing completion. So get a good night's rest, and we'll be back at it 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs>